Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, it is finally time to discuss about Maurizio Pochettino as the United States coach. So, I've taken my time to do this. I was waiting for it to be official, so hopefully by the time you guys have seen it, it is official. And I got my USA shirt on. I think it's time to discuss it. So before we even discuss about Pochettino, I want to give a huge shout out to the United States Federation. Because I have ridiculed this federation. I have not been happy with Matt Crocker. And I think it's about, I think I have to give some apologies. What Matt Crocker did is commendable. Because what I very much thought the USA would do, US Soccer Federation, would do is appoint some MLS coach. They would appoint some MLS coach from, you know, hypothetically, let's say Philadelphia Union or like whatever. They would appoint some MLS coach. We would go with the next cycle. And we would just do the bare minimum at the World Cup. You know, make it out of the group stage and get knocked out. But they went for a different direction. They took a gamble and went for Maurizio Pochettino. And this is a big one. Because I'm glad the United States did something that I didn't expect them to do. They went for a foreign coach. They went for someone that is an American. And that's a big move. Especially considering we're hosting the World Cup in two years. And a lot of people are going to go in the comments, and a lot of people might say that, oh, we shouldn't be doing this. We should be only go for an American coach. I believe for the next cycle, it is the right decision not to go for an American coach. I have, I have no disrespect to American coaches whatsoever. The your other coaches are simply superior. Your South Americans, your European coaches are simply superior. And I feel like for me, especially ahead of this World Cup, it is imperative that US, USA does well. We have to, at very least, make it far, especially considering the host nation. And it is our utmost duty to do this. And let's be real, guys. This is the most important World Cup the United States is going to ever have in the, for the rest of our lives. We're not going to have another opportunity like USA to host another World Cup until very... We're not going to have another opportunity anytime soon. We have to make the most out of this opportunity. And I believe a European South American coach has far more tactical awareness, is more knowledgeable, and has more wisdom and more experience than your American coaches. So that's why I have to give credit to the U.S. Soccer Federation by going this extra route, by going to like, take this gamble. Because this is a big move. It's a big decision. And I have to commend the United States for doing that. So once again, man, thank you, United States Soccer Federation, for actually going for a different route and going for a, not a safe route. It's a bit of a risky route. Now let's talk about Maurizio Pochettino, the man himself, man. The man himself. Maurizio Pochettino is a decent coach. He's a good coach. We have seen what he's done at his three clubs. You know, Chelsea, Spurs, and of course, um, PSG. Also, don't forget Southampton as well. And what Maurizio Pochettino has been best known for is developing young talent. That is what he's best known for. And I feel like at the United States, we have a plethora of young talent. There's a lot of young, talented players in this USA roster team. You have the likes of Musa, you have the likes of Adams, you have the likes of Giorena. I could go on and on, but there's so many names. And I feel like Mauricio Pochettino can get the best out of these players. Because one of the biggest issues I had with Greg was the fact that he prioritized the system over the players. And that is something that is very wrong, especially in international football, is that you have to prioritize the players over the system. The players have more value than the system itself. It doesn't matter how good the system is. The players have more significance. And I feel like with Pochettino, he's gonna develop he's gonna have the players be he's gonna develop the young players to at their best abilities. And I think this is something that he can do. And one of the things I think he could also instill is this mentality in this team. Because I feel like United States for the last couple of years, especially under Burhalter, I have not seen that strong mentality that we have seen the prior USA teams. You know, because what made USA good in the past is whenever they pulled off those big upsets is because USA had character. They showed grit and they they were defensively strong because they didn't have the talent to compete. They simply didn't. But because they were so good defensively and because they had a tactical plan, they were able to go on transition. They were able to go and transition counterattack. That's how they're able to pull off these upsets. And if we're keeping it real, guys, a lot of teams that do upsets nowadays in international football. What makes them so good is because of how good they are defensively. It's, it's not really about how good their attack is. It's about how good their defense is. Because they're defensively so well organized, it makes it tough for big teams to break them down. And this is, I think, what USA should be going back to, is that I think we have to go in the similar path. 
We ha- and I think we have to kind of like similar adopt to what Canada is doing. Look what Canada is doing, Jesse Marsh. Canada is now playing counter attacking football. They're so good defensively, and that they're so good in transition. And I think this is something the USA should, you know, model after. Of course, we're not, we shouldn't copy word exactly because obviously I believe our ta- team is more. We have more talented players than them, but we have to do something similar to them. And I think that's something that is very incredibly important. Is that he Maurizio Pochettino is so completely superior coach to Greg Berhalter. He has the tactical awareness and the tactics. And this is something that I think could be very useful. So and I think Pochettino has the capability of doing that to make USA play in a good style of football that is actually effective for the team. And I think the USA team is, I feel like what would suit the USA players more is rather going possession-based football, I think we need to play counter-attack. And I think that's what USA have to go back to. Now, of course, with everything, there comes negatives. And there are some negatives I have with Mercy Pochettino. My biggest negative is the fact that he doesn't have any international experience. And that is a bit concerning, especially heading to a World Cup of this magnitude, considering this is the USA's, one of the, the USA's most important World Cups in their history. It is concerning that we don't have a manager that has the international experience. And it is a bit concerning that when we're going to be playing against those top teams, we are going to, we're, we're going to get outclassed by a manager. Because obviously when you play up against like a Brazil or Argentina or France, if we play, he's going to be, we're going to, be, going to be against Galoni and Avdini Deschamps. And these two coaches are very well, they, they serve so long in international football. So it's going to be very difficult for an emergency puncher to outs those coaches in terms of tactics. So that's the concern. But we have to say, we have to keep in mind, Scaloni was hired as the RG interim coach, and we all know how that turned out. So maybe Mercy Pochettino, we should give him the benefit of the doubt. We should allow him to have some time with the players, and we got to get some competitive games. We have to get some competitive games, and I think that Gold Cup next year is a great opportunity to see what this team can, is capable of doing, because that's pretty much the last international competition before the World Cup itself, or, or that's at least significant, right? And that's why I wish that we had made this decision after the World Cup, and he, the Copa America would have been a great opportunity, but, you know, we all know what happened. The U.S. Federation didn't do it, and it is what it is. So, for the, like I said, for the United States, we have to, like, for me, we have to make the quarterfinals of the 2026 World Cup. I'm not going to accept anything less than a quarterfinal finish, and if we don't finish, if we if we go, if we do worse than quarterfinals, it's a, it's a failure of our World Cup, too. It's a failure of our World Cup, because we're the host nation. we got to make the quarterfinals. We have to have high standards for this team. And I think a quarterfinal finish is a good, reasonable standard for the United States. Minimum. So, yeah, anyways, that's pretty much my thoughts on the United States uh, getting Mercy Pochettino as a coach, man. I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. Please let me know if there's any major talking points in the comment section below. I'm sure there probably is. And like I said, man, best of luck to Mercy Pochettino. And let's hope that he can cook as the United States. And I'm glad that the United States went for the uh, risky option. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later, Ben. Peace out.